but there was still unfinished business. And I wanted to fight to ensure that the changes that we had promised and the new and stronger Scottish Parliament that we said we would deliver, I wanted to be absolutely certain that these changes would happen and that the new Parliament would be in place before I made the decision to stand down as a Member of Parliament. And even after a week of speculation, uh, when it's a strange experience uh, to read your obituary even before you've retired, uh, today I have my say, tomorrow the newspapers will have their say, and then history will have its say. But it is a strange experience to read them uh, before uh, you retire. But I'm in no doubt that it's the right thing to do. A new person with new ideas, a new vision, new insight, new energy to represent this constituency and to stand for us as the Labour Party at the next general election. And we are not leaving Fife. It is London that I'm leaving. And for the avoidance of any doubt, I'm not going back to Westminster, uh, not to the House of Commons after the general election, and not to the House of Lords. It is Fife where our home is and where we will be, where our children, John and Fraser, who are here tonight, are happily at school. And it's from Fife where I will do the new and extended work as the United Nations Special Envoy on Global Education.